Okay guys, really quick before this video starts and you get to see what part we are featuring in today's video, I have two very fast announcements. First one, anyone who watched the LED lighting install in this car knows there's a giveaway going on. I'm currently choosing winners as you're seeing this video and I'll be messaging you guys on Instagram. So be on the lookout for those. Announcement number two, the Boosted John's Beans merch is only going to be live. If you're seeing this video on Tuesday, it'll only be live until Friday, November 20th. I really appreciate anyone who buys the merch, it seriously helps me out a lot. So. Thank you guys so much for everyone who has already. Anyone who really wants it still, it's super sick. Check it out, link in the description. All right, let's get to the video. Okay, it is, but it's gonna hopefully be sweet. Welcome to today's video, everybody. As you've seen in the title already, we're gonna be installing a painted front lip and one more little surprise that I have that's just kinda of like the cherry on the top. Before we get to painting, we have to head out to West Chicago to pick up some 2K Honda Berliner Black single stage gloss spray paint and primer. Let's go. Gotta get that underbody. Gotta get that underbody. This is gonna be a great moment to see if the soft top leaks. Here we go. Oh shit. That's not good. It leaked a bunch, boys. Ugh. I'm gonna try to let it go for now that the soft top's leaking. We'll do this, and then I'll deal with that another time. Here we are in the paint booth. Let's unwrap this thing. I cut the entire soft top off using this knife right here. And someone commented, this video should be titled, How to Dull Your Knife Extremely Quickly. Look, boys, I have not sharpened this knife since that video. If you pay for good stuff, you get good stuff. That's like the number one rule. In case you guys are wondering, the steel on this blade is S35VN. Some of you guys know what that means, some you don't. If you know what it means, you know what it means. Now this lip is from a company called Magic Drift. I'm not sponsored by them at all, nor is this an advertisement for them. But I do have to say, they kind of get a bad rap on eBay and stuff. I don't know why. I've bought two lips from them in the past and each of them has been good. The fitment's been good, quality is fine. I actually really like this polyurethane material because it's so stretchy, it's easy to install. But take it for what it is. Let's go test fit this. This all looks nice. It's actually pretty insane how well this blowtorch works. If you guys just go like really quick back and forth like I was, heat up the whole edge and then just use a paper towel and hold it in place for like 30 seconds, it will mold to the shape that you want. I'm gonna let it cool off and it should hold this shape now. But this whole edge is like perfect. All the way across the front is perfect. This corner, perfect. This, damn near perfect for an eBay lip. And this is a little sus right there, but otherwise like really close to perfect. I'm really happy with that fitment. I'm gonna let it cool off completely. Just let it sit out here. Let the garage get warm with this tiny little heater that I have. And then we'll remove the lip and paint it. All right, here goes the first coat of black primer. Okay, now like I said, this is a 2K paint, so it has an activator in the bottom. You have to use this little red cap on the bottom to activate the hardener. It's, it's, a, it's a 2K hardener. This should be as strong, like I said earlier, as actual paint. Whoa, 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 whoa. Started leaking everywhere. I don't know why, hopefully it still sprays. So 
So here it is after just the first coat. It's looking pretty good. I am noticing like a little bit of little bit of orange peel in it. So we're gonna see what we can do about that. Uh-oh. So here it is after the last coat. I'd say that's looking pretty dang good. I do have a little bit of a run right there. You can see it. I'm gonna just leave it out here till tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll install it on the car. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello and welcome to tomorrow. The lip is now dry. I can go ahead and jack the car up and get it ready to install the slip. Now in the past, I've been a little bit sus with how I've done 3M double stick tape, but this time I'm gonna take extra precautions to make sure that it sticks really well. So the lip is ready to go. I didn't show you guys any of the prep stuff because I wasn't sure exactly what I had to do to get it ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead, Kearney's here. We're gonna put the lip on the car, screw it in, and then peel the tape and it's done. So close, so happy. This has been taking a very long time to do. This project has literally taken like four days. Okay, John, wait. Okay. Huh? How are you doing it? Just lifting it up. So, yeah, just go slow. Go ahead, do you can do the honors. Finish it off. Yep. Bam! <laughs> Ooh! Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> I know it's probably hard for you guys to tell right now because the because of the lighting. I'm gonna go get you guys some sick cinematics in a second, but I have one last little surprise here that's just gonna be the cherry on top. OEM Honda, baby. Nothing better. OEM Honda. John, I can't. Seriously, that makes such a difference. Doesn't that make such a difference? So guys, there it is. I hope that you enjoyed. The new lip, in my opinion, looks really, really good. I think that once I get some more cosmetic stuff for this car, it's gonna look even better. The car looks a little unbalanced right now because the front's kind of aggressive, the rear has nothing, well, except the exhaust. But you'll see. Next video, I think you're gonna be very happy with what I do. Now there's one thing that I wanna point out. You can clearly see this 3M tape here. I don't like that. So what I'm gonna do is take some Berlin a black touch up paint and probably just paint it so that the 3M tape is invisible. I don't really know of a better solution to be honest with you. I don't wanna have to pull it all back off and redo it, but anyway, yeah, I think that looks so good. The license plate caps are so good. And that is really all I gotta say, boys. So if you like this video, please click that thumbs up. Also, if you like this video, please click that subscribe button. Consider subscribing, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you have suggestions for what you guys wanna see done to this car, please leave those in the comments down below. And as I always say, boys, remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals. Bye.